In this video, we're gonna do a viewer requested tutorial to create a strobe effect for Final Cut Pro by using Apple Motion. Normally, I would show you the effect right away. However, I wanted to give a flashing lights warning to anybody who might be sensitive to that. If you are sensitive to flashing lights, then you definitely wanna skip this one. With that being said, here's the effect. I got that call, give me yeah, turn me up. Also, as a patron, you can download this effect and use it in your videos right now. Go ahead and open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, we will be selecting our Final Cut effect. I recommend you set your frame rate to whatever you typically like to work with, and I'll go ahead and just set my duration to something like 10 seconds. From there, we can push Open. To create this effect, all we need to do is select the effect source. This is going to be the clip in Final Cut Pro receiving the effect. From there, we can go to the left side and locate the inspector, then go to properties, and in here you'll see this opacity slider. Now you could manually go in and add keyframes to the opacity slider to pull off this effect, but that's going to take way longer than it should. Instead, go ahead and click on this down arrow next to the keyframe, go to add parameter behavior and select oscillate. The oscillate filter is essentially a wave animation. So if I were to apply this onto say the Y position of this rectangle, you can see how it's creating this nice little hover effect, but we could also use it for our opacity. Now, if I go over to the right side and click on the keyframe editor, which can also be achieved with command eight. Now, as it is, if we play through the animation, it's a very smooth and fluid animation. And we want this to be more so an on and off animation. So to achieve that, we'll go over to the left side, locate the wave shape, which is currently a nice sine wave. Let's change it from a sine wave over to square. So this is again, essentially going to set it to an on and off state rather than having a nice fluid animation. Next, you wanna make sure that your amplitude is set to 100%. And then down here is the speed. This is what's going to achieve that flashing effect that we are going after. So taking a look here in the keyframe inspector, you can see how there's this on, then this off, then this on, but it's just way too slow for what we want. We want a nice fast strobing effect. So let's go ahead and crank this speed up, keeping an eye on that keyframe editor. And you can now see that the on and off animation is going much faster. I'm actually gonna set this over to something like 500 and if we push play, we should have the effect we're going after. Now, what's cool is because we don't have anything underneath this effect, this is essentially setting it as a transparent object. So in Final Cut Pro, we could apply a layer underneath to create a nice strobe transition to the next clip. However, if you wanna make it so you can choose a color that's happening underneath the strobe effect, we can go on over to our library, go to our generators, and locate this color solid. Go ahead and click and drag that into your layers panel. Making sure that it is underneath the effect source, we can go ahead and jump inside the inspector and locate the color option. I'll leave this at blue so we can see it taking place. And if I push play, we can now see the animation happening on our effect source. Let's go ahead and set it over to black so that is naturally the color. Then we can come on over here to the right side, clicking this down arrow and push publish. This is going to enable us to change the color to whatever we want inside of Final Cut Pro. Additionally, we can go on over into our properties and locate the opacity slider of this color solid. Let's go ahead and publish that value as well so people can choose if they want a background color or if they want it to be completely transparent inside of Final Cut Pro. Finally, let's go into the oscillate filter settings and find the speed slider. Again, clicking that down arrow, let's publish that so that we have complete control over how fast this animation is taking place inside of Final Cut Pro. All we need to do from here is push Command S to save this. We can call it whatever we want. I'll just call it strobe. Then we can drop it into whatever category we like. I'll throw it into my tutorials category and push publish. Inside of Final Cut Pro, just go on over into your effects inspector and locate the category that you dropped it into. In my case, it would be the tutorials category. Down here at the bottom, we can see we have the strobe effect. So I'll just apply that onto this clip. And if we push play, you can see we have that nice little strobe. Additionally, we can change the speed on this. So I'll set this down to something like 300 so the speed is much slower and if we push play, the strobe is happening at a better rate. Finally, we can change the color of this so I'll just change it over to this orange color or we could drop the opacity. So if I had a clip underneath, you'll see that it's going to be cutting between the two clips. So that is how you can create a strobe effect for Final Cut Pro. If you're a patron, you can download this effect and use it in your videos right now. Plus I have a transition option so you can just apply it here on your cut points inside of Final Cut Pro 
without needing to layer the two separate clips. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may want to check out this video where I show you how to build a hover animation for Final Cut Pro by using Apple Motion. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.